Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for August 15th through the 31st. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This may not resonate the exact day that you watch it. This is a preview, so hey, keep that in mind. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the end of August. 15th to the 31st thereabouts we're going to start right here cancer what do we got for cancer dear god angels spirits and universe what do we have for cancer I saw damn it I should have said it out loud I was I when I was my eyes were closed when I was shuffling and I saw the ace of wands and this is this is it this is the ace of wands and it's raining out but the sun is out and that's why I thought it as well there's a rainbow there's a rainbow can you hear the rain it's very very sunny out and look at the rainbow so this is a blessing I should have just said it so yeah you guys are going to be blessed this is a new spark, a new vitality, a new partner, or a new passion, or a new vision. This is this is a blessing. This is this is a blessing. This is if you think about a rainbow. What's at the end of the pot? Of, what's at the end of the rainbow? Pot of gold. So, we have some sort of um, new exciting opportunity. Uh, this could be even a rekindling. Okay, uh, this is a new spark, a new match, a new flame, something exciting. Damn it, I wish I would have just said it. So, this is something very exciting. We have a new exciting opportunity for you. We're going to start right here. I had my eyes closed and I was seeing that Ace of Wands. Now my eyes are closed again. Um, I feel like you guys are, it's like a rekindling of some sort. Um, it could be rekindling your own passion. You could have this new vision and you, this new desire. You got to have this desire to put yourself out there to go for it. Um, commute, put yourself out there. This is community. <laughs> and my eyes were closed again, and I was just speaking. It's one of my new tactics to just close my eyes and speak. It seems to be working for me. Anyhow, um, so yeah, this is this is socializing, putting yourself out there. You may, you know. <laughs> be out having fun um this could be even internet socializing but this is really kind of getting out in your community putting yourself out there um you may be meeting your match or you may be you know just having fun rekindling a flame with your match you know what i mean rekindling the connection okay if that's what this is but this could be a brand new match as well this is socializing having fun and meeting somebody that's what i see you know, I'm not sure if this is for you or not. I didn't look at this for my last reading, and I just happened to look. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. I don't know if that's for you. Um, cancer. Cancer. This is a blessing of some sort. It definitely is a blessing. This is this is abundance as well, because this equals eight, which is abundance. So whatever you're going to get at the end of, at the end of, and this was, remember I said, go ahead. I said, go ahead, make the romantic gesture. Just go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I feel like th that you ha are going to have a new opportunity that is presented to you. It's a very exciting opportunity. Um, there are, there are expressions of love. Go ahead. Go for it. Go for it. This, this could lead to a lot of happiness. This is having fun. Okay, so if you're out socializing and you're having fun and you're out with your friends or you're even on the internet socializing, you're putting yourself out there, you're opening yourself up, you might want to expect, you know, perhaps a passionate new start here. You could have a, this could be a new sexual partner, okay, if you are single. If you are not single, that could be rekindling a flame, okay, through expressions of love, okay, playfulness, so... Cancer, what do we got? 
King of Pentacles. You have the power. You may have manifested something. This is a oneness. This is a divine connection. You have manifested love, abundance, security. You have manifested something, Cancer. The power is in your hands. What goes around comes around. And I think that you're about to get something that you asked for. Whatever it is, it could lead to something big. It could lead to something solid. It could lead to something stable. Um, I think that you have a lot to offer. And whoever is coming into your life is going to see it. Um, now this is take all the time you need to think about this. You don't need to rush. I see that you might want to put some barriers up. You may be a little guarded. You may be a little fearful, but don't let your own doubts and your own fears get in the way of something that could be successful. Because there could be some success here. This could be a successful outcome by the looks of things. Definitely successful. This is success. Have confidence. Okay. Um, don't restrict yourself. This could be even a soulmate connection. When you get the king and queen of the same suit you know, the same court, whatever, you know, this is, this is, this is a definitely a divine connection of some sort. It's probably an earth sign. It probably is an earth sign. Um, this is what you've been waiting for, getting prepared for. Something is arriving, Cancer. Something is arriving that you have been waiting for, okay? I think that you, you asked for it, you called it in, you did your work. You used your inner resources, you set your intentions or something like that, and, and you, now you got a big, huge, golden opportunity coming in. Here's that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And I know this sounds too good to be true, but I feel like there's, there's some level of restlessness here. If you take a look at these three cards, we, got, we have some restlessness. We have some, you know, um, fear. Not being optimistic. Be optimistic. Don't let doubt get in your way. Like as I'm telling you this, as I'm reading you this, a lot of you are in a state of doubt. I can see that. If you doubt it, then you're right. Okay? Because your thoughts truly do become things. That is this card right here. So if you want it, think positive. Call it in and this is what you can have. If you doubt it, then you're screwed. And that is the truth. Okay? So I see that there's doubts that may be getting, hindering success, but this is an opportunity for success. But whatever you do, don't rush. Slow and steady. Slow and steady brings stability. If you rush, if you act impulsively, you know, it, it may scare somebody. So, you know, to be solid, be grounded, be stable, go slow. The king and queen of pentacles, they don't move slow. I mean, they don't move fast. They move slow. So make sure that you are practical. Make sure that you... Um, act with integrity. Make sure, and I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just telling you the characteristics. Characteristics. Make sure that you go slow. And you notice I'm talking too fast. I need to slow down. You need to slow down. Make sure. I mean, this right here. This is the karma. This is the judgment card. This is also the truth. There could be a reconciliation here. There could be um, a resurrection of something that, you know died per se um right here this is your external environment this is release as well so this could be releasing the past and living again starting over um this is some sort of epiphany this is some sort of awakening or something is about to be revealed you may not see it yet this may this may happen suddenly this may there could be a sudden connection that comes about for you at the end of this month all of a sudden it's right in front of you Okay, suddenly. Um, I think that you are probably dealing with an earth sign or a Gemini. Okay, um, you could be dealing with anybody else, but that's what I see. I feel like down here, focusing on right now is very pessimistic, very uh, closed off. You know, you need to, you really need to open yourself up. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind and think positive because your thoughts truly do become things. Okay. So you have a new opportunity here that is very, very exciting. Um, I think that somebody is going to come in. They're going to come in suddenly. Whoever this person is, this person is um, 
solid. This person is stable. This person um, is awakened. I mean, this person has some sort of divine connection. Okay, this person is wide awake. Okay, they're not one of those sleeping souls who, you know, vibrates on a low vibration. I don't see that at all. This person vibrates on a high vibration. This is somebody that you have been waiting for. Right now, your pro approach is to get on board. Get on board with this. Your, your, your challenge is confidence, okay? Now, Eight of Cups reversed. That could be thinking about going back. Maybe this could be a reconciliation. You keep thinking about going back, but you may have doubts and fears that you won't be accepted. Face your fears. There's your fears. That is fears. A fear of the unknown. There's, there's, there's something below the surface. There's something that is hidden here that you don't know that is about to be revealed. Perhaps you don't really know the outcome and you're letting fear get in the way. But I feel like you're going to receive the justice that you deserve. This is an opportunity for justice. It's an opportunity to get what you deserve, to bring balance back to your life, to bring balance back to a situation. But this comes with honesty and integrity. Um, so I feel as though... The challenge is open communication, telling the truth. This is in your challenge position, finding the confidence and the courage right here to tell the truth, to be honest about what you are scared of, you know, what, 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 what has been hidden. You know, you may have to. You know, if this is a reconciliation, which it very well could be, you're going to have to be honest, completely, completely honest. Whatever is hidden, no secrets. No secrets. And there's been some secrets. So, or if you have, if this is somebody new, my advice is no secrets. None. So, the Empress reversed. <laughs> now, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have Taurus, Libra, Libra, Taurus. So, Taurus, Taurus Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have a Pisces here. You could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um... The Empress Reverse, this is in somebody that doesn't know their value or somebody that doesn't know their worth or somebody that doesn't really take very good care of their children. Um, not very motherly, not very nurturing. Or somebody that just doesn't know their value. Or maybe somebody didn't value this person. And this is like wanting to go back. So I, it feels like we have somebody that wants to go back to a person that they didn't take care of or they didn't value. There may have been some abuse, neglect. Somebody may have treated somebody cruelly. There could have been some cruel treatment here. But we have this awakening. So, so over here, this is hopes and fears positions. It's like we, we, we have this person that may be fearful of being treated that way again. So, you know, I think there's a chance. There's a, there's a chance for some sort of new growth with tender, loving care, truth, honesty, and respect. I think there's been a lack of respect. There's been some neglect. I feel like somebody has gotten some sort of wake-up call, you know, some sort of epiphany that, you know, it's, they need to stop wasting time and go back. Go back and justify this situation. So I'm not sure who this is for, but there is definitely a new opportunity to Start something very, very passionate. Um, let's clarify this community card. This is out having fun. We're not going to do that. Out having fun. Starting over. Starting over. Starting from scratch. Starting over with somebody. Leaving all the past behind. So I feel like you guys are have an opportunity to start over with somebody that you know. I think you know this person. I think it starts with playfulness, going out on a date, or meeting this person out 
for drinks or whatever. And this could manifest into something solid, stable, secure. Um, I think that you should express your love. This leads to something very passionate. It could grow. This is something that you should get on board with. I feel like you need to let go of those doubts and those fears. Face your fears and follow your heart. And that is my advice, Cancer. I feel like whoever you are dealing with um, is going to give you an opportunity to start over. Start start from scratch. I, this could be somebody brand new. This could be a brand new partner that you meet out and about. You know, you're out with your friends or your whatever. You could even anywhere, anywhere. You know, you're putting yourself out there. You're expressing yourself. You're flirting. And boom, there it is. And I think this is going to happen suddenly. And I think that you should go for it. Good luck.